Today we're going to be doing a review of the new classic reader's edition in the English Standard Version by R. L. Allen. And the Bibles we're going to be reviewing today are the Marine Blue Edition and the Purple Edition. Now there are other editions of this Bible available, other colors. There is a black, there's also a brown, and there's also a tan version. And most recently, Alan has also bound this Bible in its navy blue. Now, all four of those colors are Highland goatskin, uh, but the Bibles we're going to be reviewing today are out of print. So both of these Bibles were limited edition runs, uh, but they're the only Bibles that I have, so we're going to use them for our review today. And hopefully uh, it'll uh, help you make your decision on whether or not you want to purchase these Bibles uh, in the four available colors, or if you're lucky enough to find these Bibles um, on an online auction site, uh, you can see what they look like. Now this one here is the most recent uh, Allen Limited Edition. It is the purple edition of the New Classic uh, Readers. It is the ESV NC1P. And they made 75 of these. This one is the Marine Blue Edition. Uh, it is also goatskin. It is not Highland like the purple one here, um, but it is a very unique grain. We're going to take a look at that in a little bit here. This one was one of 85. And the history on this one is the leather used for the Marine Blue Edition was from a British uh, Army surplus supplier. And they only had a, a limited amount of this leather on hand and that's where Alan purchased the leather from. So we'll probably never see a run of this particular Bible ever again because this leather uh, was a very special, um, especially acquired leather. So it's going to be very difficult to find this uh, type of leather again. But this purple one here, to my understanding, Alan will be binding this, uh, this particular Bible again. But what makes this Bible unique for the first run is Alan actually started using a different type of stamp for its limited editions. I'm gonna hold that up so you can see it. Um, it is now stamped on the back cover with Allen uh, First Edition. Uh, if you remember the prior limited edition, Allen's had a stamp on the inside uh, of one of the end pages here. It was a round stamp uh, and then it was usually signed with uh, a number to indicate what part of the limited edition that particular Bible came from or what, what uh, number in the run it was. But Alan uh, has been using these stamps on the inside cover uh, for the last two limited edition runs that it's uh, put out. And I'm not sure if the stamps are coming back or not, but uh, for now we're gonna be seeing the uh, inside cover. So let's talk a little bit about the new classic readers here. So first of all, it is the English Standard Version um, and you're going to get the most updated version of that translation, which is a 2011 uh, version. The Bibles are bound in, the ones that are available today from Allen are bound in Highland goatskin, which is Allen's traditional goatskin. And uh, you're going to get a variety of colors for your guild. Now this purple one that uh, is a limited run, this one's going to be a uh, blue under silver. So it's something that we haven't seen a whole lot of from Alan, but when you uh, open it up, you get that nice deep uh, blue, which I love so much uh, about Alan's uh, gilding is their colors are very rich and their blue is no exception, very rich uh, blue color. Uh, and then when the Bible is closed, you I call it an electric blue, even with the Bible closed, it looks like it's almost glowing um, when it's closed, but it's actually a silver uh, gilding on the exterior. The Bibles that are available from Allen today, the black, brown, and the tan, are going to have a red under gold, which is actually the same as this marine blue edition. Uh, so it's going to be gold when you uh, have the Bible closed, and then when you open it, you're gonna get that nice, deep uh, Allen red gilding. The navy blue edition of this Bible, which is actually the most recent uh, edition from Allen, uh, they just started binding uh, the new classic in a navy blue goatskin. Uh, that one's gonna actually have blue under uh, gold gilding. So it's going to look very much like this, but instead of silver, it will have gold 
um, on the outside of the gilding and then blue when you open the Bible. The format uh, of these Bibles is double column and, and it does have references uh, in the middle of the columns in the center. There is also uh, a very um, nice concordance in the back and also you get some lined paper. We're going to take a look at all that here in a minute but first of all let me give you the exterior dimensions. Um, so you have uh, nine and an eighth inches by six and a fourth um, and it's very thin. It's it's a little over an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter um, and that's probably uh, one of the best features of this Bible in my opinion is it's it's, it's fairly thin. Um, it reminds me a lot of a newspaper um, when I have it in my hand. It's just it's, it feels like I just roll it up like you can a newspaper. Uh, but for being so thin, the paper is actually pretty good. And we're going to take a look at that uh, here shortly. And you can also notice that the Bible has uh, a considerable amount of yap. Now, I know a lot of people like yap. I love yap. And Alan does yap probably the best out of everyone. Um, but if you look here, it's considered a, uh, a semi-full yap. But you actually get touching here. So um, it's not quite full, but it is definitely very generous for a semi-full. And I love that. Um, and you can actually see it, it does it on almost uh, every end here where it, it almost touches. And the same on the purple here. It's the, the same amount of generous yap. I would consider uh, this edition of the Allen um, ESV, the new classic, I would consider it the closest to the long primer. Uh, the long primer, as you know, has a generous amount of yap. It's got the double gilled lines, which this actually doesn't have. Um, it has the fairly thin profile, just like this. It's got the 32 GSM paper, just like this. Double column reference, just like this. Um, this one is actually uh, paragraph format, which the uh, long primer in the King James Version is verse by verse. But a lot of similarities between this Bible and the long primer. So if you're looking for a long primer-esque ESV, this is going to be uh, your Bible. And I, I really like that uh, about this particular edition is it's, it's got a lot of similarities to that uh, long primer, which I think is um, one of the uh, best executed Bibles on the market. All right, um, ribbons. You get three red ribbons with this blue uh, edition. You get three purple ribbons with the purple edition. Um, for the purple Bible, you're going to notice a theme, uh, and that theme is purple, purple, purple. Purple Highland goatskin on the exterior, purple... Uh, liner leather line liner you're going to purple end pages and then purple ribbons um, they do break the purple streak here when you look at the gilding which is blue but everything else is purple so if you love purple you're going to love this edition uh, on the blue here it's got a little more variety you've got uh, a really dark uh, liner here on the inside which i've i've uh, been told that it's blue but it actually looks black uh, you've got the blue uh, leather on the exterior blue end pages red ribbons now, uh, when we look at the interior of this Bible, what you're going to notice is that its, uh, it's paper here feels pretty thin. Um, it, it's not going to be clarion thin, it's not going to be no 28 GSM, but it does have uh, a wispy thin feel to it. But for as thin as it is, uh, the, the ghosting is actually not too bad. So I'm going to hold it up here so you can take a good look for yourself. Um, and you can see it's really, it's not too bad. Um, it's definitely present. You do see some ghosting, but uh, it's not something that bothers me. And I really enjoy reading the, the blue edition here. Um, I read it often. And so for me, it, 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 I'm sensitive to the ghosting and it's, it has not bothered me yet. Um, let's take a look at some of the poetry here so that you can get an idea of what Psalm looks like um, with the ghosting. And this is probably uh, the best place to see ghosting is in Psalms since you have that, uh, the poetry sections there, which gives you a lot of white space between the verses. Uh, and even there, it's, it's noticeable, but it's not going to be something that's, that, that is going to uh, bother most people uh, unless you're super, super sensitive. But there's a trade-off for the thinness of the Bible, and that is the paper's got to be thinner as well, and with that, um, a little less opaque. Now you're also going to get uh, the nice presentation pages from, from Alan here. You have your, um, your deaths, your births, adoptions, marriages, um, and then at, at the uh, end of the Bible, you're going to have your lined paper, 
Um, you have a f some maps and to be more precise, I think you have uh, eight full page color maps and 32 pages of, uh, of lined paper. So you do get uh, quite a bit back here. And of course you, you're gonna get uh, your concordance, which uh, prints a little small in the concordance, but it's, uh, it's still helpful. So the overall assessment of this Bible, I've said it uh, in the past and I'll say it again, uh, this particular one, specifically the blue, is one of my top three favorite Bibles that I've ever owned. Uh, it's a great Bible to uh, read from if you're just going to use it as a daily reader. I've preached from this Bible on a number of occasions and I found that the, the print is nice and bold and crisp. Um, it's a 10 point font, which makes it uh, easy to read from the pulpit. I do have a few concerns with the print and I'll show you what I mean just so that you have an idea. Um, the page, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the verse numbers are very small and hard to find. And because this is a uh, double column um, format, not uh, a verse by verse, but rather a paragraph format, it, it can be very difficult to find your place uh, if you're uh, preaching and you need to look uh, up from your Bible for a second, it's hard to find your spot again, where uh, a verse by verse single column Bible, it's a lot easier to find your, your location. So that's one of my small complaints, um, very minor, but again, uh, just something to be mindful of. And then the other part of, uh, of the, uh, you know, little critique, if you will, is it, when you flip the paper, you have to be very careful. This paper is a little thinner. If you flip too quickly, I'm afraid it, it, it can tear. Um, I haven't torn any of mine yet, but I'm just very careful when I when I flip the paper. Um, other Bibles, such as the uh, Skyler Cantel or maybe the uh, Lockman single column uh, that has a little bit beefier paper, those ones I think are going to be uh, a little, you can be more aggressive with it and, and you shouldn't have any problems. But but on these particular Bibles, you just wanna make sure you're a little more sensitive with how you flip the papers, the pages, I should say. So overall, um, my assessment, this particular purple Bible, if you can find it um, on online, I would recommend uh, buying it if you love purple. It is definitely uh, for people who, who enjoy the color purple. Um, the contents of the Bible, the contents of the ESV New Classic, uh, sheets are fantastic. I, I love the sheets bound uh, by Allen, but printed in the Netherlands by uh, Youngblood. So it's overall very successful run, very successful Bible, something that Allen is still putting out today. Uh, and if you're interested, I would recommend picking one up uh, in either one of these if you can find them, but also in one of the four available colors from uh, BiblesDirect.com, uh, or also you can get them from Evangelical Bible. If you're looking for these two Bibles, I just want to take a, an opportunity to uh, let you know of a new place for the Bible collector, the Bible hobbyist. Um, the Bible Exchange Facebook page is actually going to be releasing a website here very soon, uh, possibly in the next few weeks, with an online auction um, that you can actually go and bid on Bibles, it's very similar to eBay. Now, it'll be more geared towards Bibles, and specific to Bibles, and it'll have some features that eBay ne doesn't necessarily have. So uh, if you're someone who's looking for these rare Bibles, these out of print, or something that um, maybe is more uh, geared towards you that's hard to find on the shelves of your local Bible store or, uh, or online store, you wanna check out the Bible Exchange uh, page. Again, it's a newer page, so um, you know it's not up yet, it's still being developed if you're seeing this review and I just posted. But do check it out, www.bibleexchange.com and uh, you can go and you can search by keyword, you can um, bid on Bibles just like you can on eBay. Um, but that's the place to find these rare books. Bible Exchange has been, um, the Facebook page has been a leader in finding rare books online and uh, advertising them, helping sellers get uh, rid of their, uh, of their rare books and helping buyers find these rare books. So eBay is just a vehicle, um, but the engine that drives the um, uh, enthusiasm and the actual finding of these books is uh, really geared around the Bible community. Uh, many of us know each other, we talk often, we're in these groups, and so that's where a lot of these Bibles are found, and uh, the Bible Exchange page is going to be a great place to 
um, to find these gems. So do check it out. I put the link up here in the video um, if anyone wants to check it out. A plus. I love these Bibles. I have a few critiques, as I mentioned, a few things that are, you know, I'm gonna if I'm gonna nitpick. Overall, I think they're fantastic. Obviously, I like them. I have two of them. I'm considering the uh, navy blue and the Highland goatskin just because I I like uh, these Bibles so much that, uh, and I'm a I'm a blue I'm a blue Bible kind of guy. So uh, I'm considering giving it a shot, even though this right here is uh, one of my top three favorites, and I uh, have a hard time putting this Bible down. So check it out, BiblesDirect.com, uh, EvangelicalBible.com, and TheBibleExchange.com. You're going to be able to find um, some of these Bibles. And uh, you know, if you like the video, go ahead and like below. Uh, get, leave me a comment. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. I'd, uh, I'd love to uh, share more videos with you. Thank you for watching, and God bless.